Hi, Richard. So good to see you. Avery, it's been a while. How are you doing? I have to say, I know it was yesterday. I didn't get a chance to chat with you on air yesterday, but you looked spectacular. I mean, I had spectacular. My, <laughs> my Blue Jay vest on. Oh, I, I was either Lord. like a, I looked like either a Blue Jay fan or a dealer at Casino Rama. I don't know <laughs> I, what I it was. I actually got a bit of a Casino Rama, Rama vibe from your outfit. It was, uh, it was fantastic. So this is looking a little uh, dull comparatively. Well, yeah, I could good, go. I'll break out a vest tomorrow. We'll find something uh, fun to wear for okay, the uh, long weekend. Okay, good. I'll make weekend. sure to tune in for a long weekend <laughs> outfit from Richard Southern. We did get you in a tank top once. I want to remind everybody, and that too was a wonderful sight. We got big ratings for that. Don't we did. You know, the next day people came back to see what you might be wearing the following day. It could be Richard Southern's fashion show. Oh boy. Show. Fashion uh, listen, debacle, more like it. Not a debacle at all. <laughs> uh, housing, uh, it, it seems like we go every day talking about housing and business. Yep. Uh, interest rate possibility uh, increasing. Uh, Bank of Canada warning about this hot housing market in Toronto. Yeah, so we had the Bank of Canada out today, Avery, making a scheduled interest rate decision. They didn't move interest rates, but this is very interesting to note. They did sort of signal that we could see the first interest rate hike since 2010 within the year. The bank sort of signaling uh, that we could see a rate hike perhaps early in 2018. That is, if we don't get any sort of surprises from Donald Trump, if we don't get any border tax or any big changes to NAFTA, we could see an interest rate hike within the year. The bank acknowledged that the Canadian economy is doing better. And it did talk about that Toronto housing market. It said speculation is playing a big role. We know that. About three in ten houses being bought now are being purchased by speculators. Uh, the bank, though, Avery, seemed unwilling to use interest rates to cool off the market. It's going to be up to the federal finance minister and up to Queen's Park to do something about it. And sure enough, Premier Wynne today sort of signaled that some measures might be coming our way to cool off the market. All right, so this discrepancy about whether we are or are not in the midst of a bubble, a new report out today says that there is a risk of a bit of a correction coming. Yeah, Moody's Investor Services, these guys that, you know, hand out the credit ratings, they say absolutely Canada's got a housing bubble. Moody says Canada is one of four countries that have become the most vulnerable to a possible housing market correction. And Moody says if we do see a downturn in the housing market, it could really be a drag on Canadian growth. Interestingly enough, it said Australia was the most vulnerable to any shocks in the housing market. They have a property boom going on, on down there, uh, down under Avery, and they have a lot of household debt as well. But uh, absolutely, another warning here about that hot housing market that we talk about seemingly every day now. Okay, no Richard Southern business would be complete without something to do with food. A uh, U.S. restaurant chain that so many people are so excited about coming to the GTA. It's the Cheesecake Factory. Have you ever gone to one of these in the States, Avery? You know, I'm not a big fan of chocolate, and I cheesecake is even lower down on my list. Cheese yeah, should I be know. eaten with crackers, not sugar. I, I, yeah, I, they make 50, you know, they make 50 different types of cheesecake, but they're actually known as well for their sort of big, lavish food menus, uh, you know, big portions, decadent type of dishes, and they kind of have a cult following in the U.S., more than 200 restaurants. They're going to open their first Canadian restaurant at Yorkdale Mall in the fall. Uh, big cheesecake factory coming to Yorkdale. Uh, the first cheesecake factory was established in Los Angeles back in 19. 72. So a lot of people excited about this, and I'll have to put my, my dibs in to cover that story when it happens in the fall. Sorry, Amber. Richard. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Michael uh -oh. Talbot, I'm finally whipping him into shape. He did just bring me coffee. Uh, thank you, Talbot. Really appreciate that. You get a gold star for today. It's being noted. Uh, to, do you want coffee from Talbot tomorrow? Because we can get him to come over to 680. I'm not, I'm not sure I want coffee that Talbot has made. I... <laughs> no, no. He went and bought it from downstairs. Senator. Okay. Delicious coffee. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, so we'll, sugar, milk? Uh, just a little bit of milk, please, A little bit of milk me. for Richard tomorrow there, Talbot. Thanks A little so bit wary of Talbot, though, I have to be honest. <laughs> All right, so listen, uh, Toronto about to get another big bank tower. CIBC is moving a new skyscraper across from Union Station. Yeah, this is big news. It's actually going to re-sort uh, of skate the, the skyline. We're going to have a new sort of skyline here because CIBC is going to move into two big towers uh, down near Union uh, Station. Their construction is going to start soon. Uh, CIBC currently has its headquarters in Commerce Court at Bay and King. It also has employees scattered across the city, but it's going to bring its 15,000 local employees into this new, it's called the Bay Park Center, two towers that are connected. It's a multi-billion dollar development. CIBC will at least one and three quarter million square feet of office space, and it will eventually rename uh, those buildings as well. Uh, the site will feature an outdoor park for CIBC employees and Torontonians, Avery. All right, that's so flashy, but I, I really want to see what the inside of Drake's house looks like. Uh, they've got a virtual reality tour of his home. 
Yeah, Toronto Software Company has used public blueprints to actually uh, give us a virtual tour of uh, Drake's Mansion, which is currently under construction in the bridal path, Avery. Yeah. Uh, so you can see, you know, the basketball court, the pool, and you can actually walk through his kitchen and his living room, and it's a real lavish space here. It's 21,000 square foot mansion. Uh, the property was bought for 35 million back in September. So if you have the 3D goggles, you can walk through it and see some of the images of Drake's mansion. They're working on a 3D uh, rendering of my apartment as well, Avery. <laughs> we, you can see the, you know, the dirty dishes in the sink and all that. Very exciting. Mine is so small, it would only have to be 2D. You wouldn't even have to go 3D. <laughs> exactly. Uh, listen, gas is uh, jumping up six cents this morning. Six cents? Yeah, big jump this morning. And what is um, going to it's going to change again tonight? What's going on? Uh, well, down but just a penny, uh, not a big drop at all. We'll go down to a dollar 20.9 at midnight tonight. So gas prices uh, they remain uh, close to the highest we've seen in more than a year. Avery. All right, Richard, thank you so much. Uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow.